Good morning. Welcome to another edition of SCZ Live. We're very excited to be here at the Reed Family Elephants of the Zambezi River Valley Habitat, where we're going to go ahead and meet with Titan um, and learn some interesting things that we do to care for our elephants. Even though we're closed, we're still caring. Hi, everybody. My name is Jen. I'm an elephant keeper here at Cedric County Zoo. Um, so today, we are going to show you guys a blood draw. Um, this is Titan, he's 11 years old. He's a juvenile bull, um, which is just another word for male. Uh, so today, Andrew is training, and Michaela is going to be our um, assistant, our vet tech, kind of, um, and she's gonna draw the blood. So today, we are drawing the blood um, for a disease called um, EEHD, and it's found in both Asian and African elephants, and essentially, it's a hemorrhagic disease. We test every Tuesday, and on uh, Tuesdays, we uh, draw the blood, we send it off to the vets, they look at it and look for things called viral loads, which I'm sure you'll learn more about later today. Um, so essentially, we want a low viral load, um, but it's nothing to be super concerned about um, unless you have something high. All elephants have it, um, old, young, um, like I said, Asians or Africans. Um, so it's nothing uh, super stressful, we're just trying to be proactive. The faster that we can get on top of this, uh, the faster we could treat if we have something like this um, and the more successful our outcome could be. So today, Andrew's going to lean tight in here. We'll bring you up close and personal and we will uh, look at a blood draw today. So right now, uh, Andrew is leaning tight in. We have a specialized port that they stick their ears out of. Um, so he's going to ask for ear now. This is all done voluntary with positive reinforcement. So he's asking us to lean in just a little bit more so Michaela can get a little bit more ear and see the vein. So Michaela's approaching now with a hose with warm water. She's also using a stool because Titan is very tall now. He's grown a lot since coming in from Swaziland in 2016. Michaela is now turning on the hose with that warm water. He is a 4,700 pound juvenile male. And today he's getting fed sweet potatoes, white potatoes, apples, carrots, and at the very end as an extra juicy bonus treat, He'll get himself a cantaloupe. Who doesn't love a good cantaloupe? Correct. Why are they warming up his ears right now? So we're warming up his ears so that we can see his veins, essentially. Um, so the warm water uh, will make the veins pop. So if we slide right here to the left, we'll slide our camera here. You can now see the veins, and we'll have our elephant manager poke out some of the veins for you. So he has lots of options for veins today that Michaela can do. All you phlebotomists out there, here is, here's a good vein. Okay, Michaela's going to step up. Now Michaela's going to step up again. So she holds off on the vein as she picks one and she wipes off with a Novasan solution. We got him from Swaziland, um, Africa. It's the country about the size of New Jersey. And hi, Kate from New Jersey. I'm glad you're watching us right now. Thanks for joining us. You got a flash? All right, Michaela said poke, and it is in. She has a flash. She is now filling the tubes. So the purple tubes are the uh, CBCs and what we also are going to send off for the EEHV. And then we're also doing two more tubes that we do a hormone study with, um, with a nice lady named Carrie Moorfield out of Omaha. Woohoo! So the, the tests that we run on the blood are the, um, the EHV oh, yeah. viral load, so the vets will talk more about that later at 2 o'clock. And then also um, are the hormone testing, and we can also do vitamin levels and all that kind of stuff as well. She's just making slight adjustments on that vein. There we go. 
We've also learned from the blood work um, with that, uh, the woman out in Omaha that helps us run our blood, um, that Titan's testosterone has now started increasing. So that just shows that he is, you know, developing right on schedule as going to be a nice breeding bull one day. So we're very excited about that. So now Michaela's just holding off, just like you might get a little cotton ball and some tape when you get your blood drawn. It's the same thing. We just hold off until it's done bleeding. Um, and then we just make sure that they're all set and he can, he can go out for the rest of the day. But everything is done voluntarily. Um, he sticks his ear out voluntarily. He stands there. Um, you know, he wants to stand there and he gets the food and... That's the most important thing with these animals. They're extremely social and extremely smart, and we have to work with them. There was a question out there from Ryan. If we took down their old habitat, um, their old habitat for the elephants was actually converted into more room for our rhinos. So that particular facility is still here. Um, it's just been renovated with more outdoor room for the rhinos. However, if you do look at the Sedgwick County Zoo master plan, you can see over the next few years what the plan is for the entire zoo. All right, so we are now done with Titan, but we're going to show you all of his blood that we got today. So that's going to help us with hormone research, the EEHV research, um, and enough blood for the vets to do all the stuff they need to do. What size needle do you need to use? So for the juveniles, we use a 21-gauge needle. And for a Johnny, um, our big male, um, he was 19 years old, we are using a 19-gauge because we draw from the back of his leg, and he has larger veins. Good job, buddy. Awesome. Is the blood draw, the amount of blood, comparable to what they might draw for humans? <laughs> I am not sure. That might be a question for the vets. Well, at we'll two see if the vets know that at <laughs> 2 o'clock. Uh, Carolyn comments about how uh, great of a job you guys have done with training because he is more cooperative than most humans <laughs> yeah, in, yeah. in blood draws. And, and from having my two children, I can definitely tell you that's the, the case out there. So uh, for our Facebook livers out there at two o'clock we will go to the vet department where they are going to take that blood then and, and analyze the blood from what we do here at Sedgwick County Zoo so that you can see the the whole process of everything that occurs. Right now Titan is getting his treats for doing his great job um, of the blood draw and those training activities today. We have eight total elephants at the zoo. Um, we have six females and two males. Um, we are a multi-generational herd, meaning that our age ranges are nine to 48. Um, and we also are a breeding group. So that's why we brought a Johnny in um, from Birmingham Zoo um, in May of 2018 was to hopefully be able to breed. So we're working on it. All right, Facebook family, we're so glad that you're out here with us today. Remember to join us back at 2 o'clock at the veterinary department where we look at uh, Titan's blood today. But also don't forget that in just a few minutes, I'm going to switch over to the flamingo off exhibit habitat where you'll get to see those flamingos moving from their, um, from their on exhibit habitat to the off exhibit habitat in preparation of breeding. Thanks, everybody, and have a wonderful day.